Uh, my name is Rebecca Erie. I'm an assistant professor of cell and developmental biology with a secondary appointment in neurological surgery. My lab is interested in understanding the stem cells of the pediatric and adult brain and their relationship to brain tumors. My lab really likes to think of ourselves as cytometrists, so we measure things on cells, and we have two approaches that we primarily use to do that, and we apply them across research model organisms, so we work a little bit on animal models of tumors, we work on stem cell derived models that are prepared by my colleagues, and we work directly on tissue that comes from the operating room. Uh, during my PhD, I studied some of the most mutated proteins in human cancer, and when I moved on to my postdoc and I knew I would be trying to start an independent lab, I wanted to think about which cancers were really in need of scientific intervention. Where had there not been change in therapies for a long time? And brain cancer was one of those cases. Brain tumors remain extremely difficult to treat. Uh, there have been relatively few changes to clinical standard of care. And at the time, especially about a decade ago, we understood very little about the biology of these tumors. So I saw that as a big area of need and decided to go specifically in that direction for my future research career. We are going in the right direction, and I think there are some exciting changes coming. Basic science has been critical to understanding, for example, where brain tumors even come from. Uh, for many decades, it was thought that there were no stem cells in the adult brain, and that we had no ability to make new neurons after damage or after brain injury. And we now realize that that is, in fact, incorrect. And all of those discoveries came from basic scientists carefully observing uh, different model organisms. So one of the key success stories that has come from my lab in the area of adult brain tumor research is identifying a feature of the tumor's location within the brain that we can see on MRI. So when the patient first comes in and has a preoperative MRI, we know something about if their tumor presents in a specific location, what are some of the possible factors that might be influencing outcome for that patient? So are they at risk for the tumor coming back sooner? Um, are they at risk for a more aggressive tumor? So this gives the surgeon some immediate information in terms of how aggressive they want to be in trying to resect that tumor. And it has also opened up a whole new area of biology in my lab. So now we're trying to understand how do highly malignant tumor cells get to that location and can we stop them from getting there? And once they arrive, does the environment around those cells make them more aggressive? On the pediatric brain tumor side, uh, we've collaborated with clinicians here that treat a disorder called tuberous sclerosis complex to try to understand why some of these children are at risk for a much larger brain tumor than others. And in addition to understanding the core biology of the stem cell niche better because of this project, we think we've actually found a specific population of neural stem cells that is at risk to become this larger tumor. And what that means for patients is that eventually through discovery efforts that are ongoing in the lab, we can try to find treatments that will selectively target those cells and spare the rest of the brain.